this video, I'm gonna be breaking down if your shopping ads are not working as well as you'd like them to, either in standard shopping or performance max. This is gonna be a quick breakdown on a couple different product attributes that I think you're missing out on that will definitely allow you to stand out from competitors for your clients or for your own brand if you're running your own ads for Google Ads. And I just wanna break down a couple different scenarios you can add to your product feed right now that should give a better click through rate, better conversion rate, and more money in your bank account. So give me a short video going through this and let's get into it. Overall, right, kind of main thing is you're kind of in shopping. If you're not getting the clicks that you need and you have a low convert uh, click through rate, what that basically is saying is you're kind of hiding in the overall PLAs of shopping and you're kind of not really standing out, right? Everything else looks the same. Everyone has a white product background that no one really stands out. And unless you have, you know, an active promotion, a sale, really good ad copy in the first, you know, 55-ish, 50 characters, where it kind of is visible in both devices for a desktop and on mobile, it's kind of hard to stand out. And it's more of a price game at that point. But I think there's three to four, uh, and I'll, I'll share probably through day, maybe a fourth one, different attributes that you can actually use for your data feed and stand out a lot easier than a lot of competitors you be facing, right? So for example, I'm going to say, uh, let's do Nike basketball shoes, right? Let's say this is gonna be the main thing you're you know, authorizing for, this is your client, you get Nike as a client, congrats. But I wanna show you, you know, what can we do to enhance our simple PLA, our product listing ad, right? So as you see here in shopping, this is gonna be where we're optimizing for. And right now, you know, they all look pretty much the same in terms of a, a shoe and a white background, which in you know, this case is pretty much all you need with Nike. But if you're, you know, Nike or shoe carnival, and you're trying to take away a sale from the main brand of Nike, you know, how can you stand out better than having, you know, more views? That's always a good thing. A lower price point too, right? But let's say you're kind of lost in the sauce and you can't really get a click-through rate. Your click-through rate is below 1%. It's not really that good. And thus your actual shopping is performance in either standard shopping or performance max. It's not the best either. So let's get into three different ways I think can easily do this for you. And if you try one of these, I think your click-through rate and overall revenue from that will go up dramatically. So let's get into it. The first one is a 3D model link. And basically this allows you to, and here's the actual nice visual from Google, it actually shows the model in the actual product listing ad for you. So instead of actually kind of just looking at it, you can rotate the model like how it's doing right now in the chair. You kind of see, okay, how is this doing, or how is this going as a whole? You know, is there different parts of the product? I think this would be a really cool area to do for the shoe. We can rotate it, kind of see different aspects of it. It's so like that. And I think this is an easy way to kind of stand out when people can actually click on your ad and see different, different viewpoints other than the classic additional images, which, you know, is a cool feature. And that's actually the second one is making sure you have additional images. So the normal way to do this, if you don't have a 3D model of your product, which you definitely should, if you can, you know, swing it and you have and your clients good creatives is by at least adding additional images, right? So let's say you don't have a 3D model. Next best thing is adding up to 10 different images as additional images in your data feed to then showcase different angles, different uses, maybe different lifestyle photos of the product being in use, right? Trying to stand out that way. There's a lot of different angles you can use in terms of creativity. So if you do Facebook stuff, kind of minim maximize that here as well, having different angles and offers of that product. Overall, main thing here is you want to just in include the product being in use or staging it differently than a white background. But again, if you don't have a 3D, definitely do this. But if you do have a 3D image of the actual product 3D model, I would highly recommend you use the virtual model link. Now, bonus, if you are in uh, either the home goods industry or in shoes, right? Shoes are a main thing here that, and that's why I chose shoes as, as the main, you know, thing we're gonna be talking about here is that Google is actually testing augmented reality in their PLA. So the scroll on here, this is again of a chair, right? So this is a standard 3D, right? You can search around, but now Google is starting to test actual uh, augmented reality of the products that you have here. So it goes one step beyond your basic uh, virtual 3D link that you already have. And it actually goes into augmented reality. This is, you know, a definitely an advanced thing and now advertisers are gonna have this, but if you're with a brand in the home goods space or even the shoe space, definitely something to talk with them about and say, hey, do we actually have this? Could we actually look into some of these partners that actually do this for us? Imagine you have one, just a 3D, right? Just doing, be able to do that. It's gonna be a game changer. But then on top of that, having augmented reality of your product and seeing, hey, how does this sofa fit in my space, right? I had a virtual client a little while back uh, before they took things in-house and I could just know this would be a great thing to stand out from, you know, a lot of the resellers, as well as just having this ability to kind of stand out in the PLA section. So I think this would be a game changer if you're in the home industry space or either in uh, the shoe space as well. And then lastly, there's gonna be something called lifestyle images. So main thing here is how can we stand out from other shopping competitors, right? 
And for this one, it's gonna be very simple. You can either do just update your actual main image link and say, hey, instead of a white product background like everyone else does, example right here, everyone just has a white product background. Let's see if there's anyone that does it not. Hey, good job, Sniper. You actually have a different image you stand out a little bit. But overall, for here, I think for, especially for any apparel or home goods to pretty much any, most products can, can benefit from this, is you wanna test some themes. And for this one, you can literally say, hey, if you're selling these pants, right, instead of just having a normal background like this, try having someone actually wearing the pants with their apparel or put them outside in a different area that will definitely, you know, thumb stop if you want to use a Facebook term, but you're having to stop and think, oh, hey, that, that product is different than everything else here. Everything else is just a plain uh, image of the product, but someone's actually wearing it or walking outside or actually using the product. And there's a couple different examples here. Again, here's a desk chair like this, put it by itself, have someone use it right here. Here's lipstick by itself, you know, everyone does that. How about someone holding it with a cool background on the back or just someone holding it, right? Overall, again, this is optional. It's not needed. Um, again, you can either do it a couple different ways of either actually saying, hey, hey Google, here's an actual lifestyle image link and show this when you think it's ready or update your actual main image link and uh, say, hey Google, this is the main image I want to test. And that's another kind of hack is if your click-through rate is low and your data feed in your, excuse me, your search terms are really good, in terms of, hey, everything is relevant from a search search query standpoint to the actual products. And our click through rate still is just very low. You have, you know, promotions, you have seller ratings, you have all the good stuff that helps your product stand out more. The next biggest thing other than your headline and your title is gonna be literally your image. Probably the most, the biggest lever you can pull in, in shopping ads can be making sure your image stands out. And that's gonna be a huge, huge thing, making sure, hey, can I stand out differently here? It's a 3D model where I can rotate it. Can I have augmented reality, which is actually insane to think about, as well as can I just have a different background, a different color, someone holding the product, someone using the product in outside in a different setting than every other competitor has, right? That's your main thing to do. And I think that's the biggest lever for most of you guys running your clients' accounts, just making sure you actually have different stuff to test in a creative form. And again, with Google's uh, Image Studio coming out this year, Product Studio, that's another easy thing to do for you and for the client. And it's not gonna cost you more money or to have to have hire some off Fiverr or Upwork, right? So hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you take one of these four optimizations I gave you, right? So the 3D model, augmented reality, if you're a part of the 3D model and you're in the home industry or uh, shoe space, the additional image link, if you don't have a 3D model, at least use additional images up to 10. And finally, lifestyle. And I honestly think lifestyle is one you should always do, both lifestyle and additional images. If you have taken anything from this video, try at least one of these at least have that for your best selling products to have more images Google can showcase as well as someone to rotate through and see different images and different uh, products of, of you actually using them. So hopefully you learned something today. If you want more videos about Google ads and want me breaking down more stuff, that will be down below in the uh, actual YouTube channel. Subscribe if you liked it. And if you have any questions or have any comments, comment them below and I'll get back to you then. Thank you and have a great day.